Now, Washington has released the new Obamacare rules, at least the latest group of new Obamacare rules, this time for employee wellness programs. And it seems it no longer matters if you are overweight or unhealthy. The new rules say you cannot be discriminated against if you don't meet certain health standards. Is it fair to give discounts to everyone, even if they are not healthy employees? It's confusing. Joining me now to clear it up, CEO of Orient, uh, Daryl Moon. And Daryl, I saw your uh, column in uh, the, the article you wrote for Forbes, and um, I'm confused by this whole thing. You're, you're a former hospital administrator. You run employee wellness programs. So I can see how this is good for you and for your business, but I don't understand these new rules. I, I thought they were supposed to be an incentive for employees to get healthy so they could get a discount. Well, there's no question that um, what the rules do is allow for employers to create what, what's called health contingent wellness programs, where a person's health can, it determines what they need to do. It actually allows for employers to build accountability into these benefits that employers offer their employees. Not saying that they have to pay more just because they're unhealthy, but ask employees to engage in doing what they can do to live more healthy. Right, and me, what's nice let, about... Let me give you an example. Sure. There was a story that came out a, a year or two ago. In fact, I think it was back when the Obamacare rules were being debated in, in Safeway. Uh, came out and said, here's uh -huh. what we're doing. This is one of the many companies uh, that are probably similar to plans that you put in, saying um, if you meet certain metrics, your cholesterol is below a certain number, your weight is below a certain number, your, you know, whatever it might be, you're going to get a discount. So that was an incentive for people that were overweight or had bad cholesterol to get a discount. I thought that was a good idea. It said, what the new rules came out this week, have they changed that? Here's what, here's what the new rules do. Safeways program, like you said, basically says to employees, if you're healthy, you can pay less, and if you're not healthy, you pay more. And hopefully, someday you'll become healthy so you can pay less. Um, the rules actually have always been, since 2001, set up to where those who are unhealthy, but it's medically inadvisable for them to meet the company standard, need to be given an alternative standard. What the new rules really do is say to Safeway, you might be deemed discriminatory. If you don't promote more the idea of having an alternative standard. At Orion, we've been designing programs somewhat like Safeway, but instead of saying to those who are unhealthy, gee, we hope you get healthy someday so you can pay less, each one of those people is, has an alternative standard created for them that's individual, where they are the ones determining what they can do, and it's all about engaging people in their own behavioral change. So yeah, but you know, you the know difference what, is that... You know what this sounds like? It reminds me, maybe this is a bad analogy, but it reminds me of the fact that everybody, we're not going to have valedictorians in high school anymore because everybody, you know, they tried really hard, and so we'll make everybody feel good. We don't want anybody to feel bad. Well, let's put it into perspective. If, if you look at how much we spend in healthcare in this country, $2.6 trillion, 87% of that is to treat conditions that didn't have to happen. They were preventable. It was based on people's lifestyle change. And yet our healthcare system is really a sick care system. It's not about engaging people in behavioral change. If we really want to take the next level in healthcare to really produce a healthier workforce in America, it's about engaging each person through proven best practices of behavioral change, to engage people in their own change and I, help them to be I, productive. I, I agree. I, know, I don't think anybody could argue on that, but what incentive is there for me to lose 10 pounds if they say, well, as long as you try, Tom, then we'll give you the discount. The key is that uh, the try also needs to be followed up with some success, meaning that if the goal is to get out and exercise three days a week, then make the the incentive based on the fact that you actually got out and exercised three days a week. I, I thought the interesting part about your, your article in Forbes was the fact that you said if the program, if there's just a program with discounts there and you make it available to people, people tend to actually, that kind of motivates them to get involved. Because all this stuff about health is simply up here. It's, it's called motivation, right? It is. Information and incentives will help some people, but they're not the tools, although they're the most used tools in wellness, to just provide people information and give people incentives to try to live more healthy. That's not the key to move the masses towards better health. 
We have a behavioral health industry who's been, who's proven the way you motivate people and move people towards behavioral change is you engage them in self-directed change. And so at Orion, we've been using these health contingent wellness program guidelines for years to motivate each person to make self-directed change because everybody's in a different place. If I say to everybody, look, we all want you to walk 10,000 steps a day, that fits some people, but it doesn't fit everybody. Yeah. So the ideal environment is to move people based on where they are and engage them in their own change. And what the wellness r new rules do is it really focuses on, for employers, implement programs that are not discriminatory, implement Let programs that really engage people. Let me, uh, you, you've been in the healthcare business a long time, Daryl, uh, but in this business of installing wellness programs for a company, um, I suspect your business is probably better now than it's ever been. No question. There's yeah. a lot of attention right now towards how do I get my employees more healthy? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's the wave of the future, no question about it. Thanks for helping us and helping me to understand these new rules. They're all very confusing. Daryl Moon, thank you from Orient. Thank you very much.